For centuries, Americans have been building homes as close to the water as possible. People who can afford it are willing to pay more for the beauty and tranquility of the ocean. But climate change is putting the future of that property at risk. The planet has warmed one degree Celsius in the last 30 years, and sea levels are now rising at alarming rates. It happens for two main reasons. The first is the, um, the, the, that there's more water since the land base ice is melting, and also as water gets hotter, it expands. So we've seen over eight inches of sea level rise in the last 100 years. A new study by the Union of Concerned Scientists is looking at the real cost of chronic inundation, which is flooding that happens at least 26 times a year. So by the year 2045, so less time than, than it would take to pay off a mortgage if, if someone bought a home today, there are three, over 300,000 properties throughout the lower 48 that would be experiencing chronic inundation. That number jumps to 2.4 million by the year 2100. Those 2.4 million properties, um, according to today's values, are worth over a trillion dollars. And Florida is a state that is most at risk for chronic inundation and the impacts of sea level rise in, in, in the lower 48. Uh, we actually represent 40% uh, of the risk. What can be done? Is there hope that we can actually stop this and fix it? That's actually the really great piece of news that's coming out of this report. Um, we found that if the U.S. stays in, in the Paris Accord, if we, if we adhere to that agreement, then the majority of the properties at risk in Florida would be spared the worst. So we can take action, but that window for us to take action is quickly closing. 